you can give us Daniel chapter 11 verse 30. For, sh for ships from Cyprus shall come against him. Therefore he shall be grieved and return in rage against the holy covenant and do damage. So he shall return and show regard for those who forsake the covenant. And forces shall be mustered by him and they shall defile the sanctuary fortress. Then they shall take away the daily sacrifices and place their abomination of dissolution. Those who do wickedly against the covenant, he shall corrupt with flattery. But the people who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits. Um, our, 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 our sharing this morning is taken from the, the, next, the, the, the other meaning that I told you of the word exploit. We said the other meaning of ex uh, exploit is doing acts, acts which cannot be ignored. That is the theme of what I want to share. Acts that cannot be ignored. Acts that cannot be ignored. Occasionally, you will read or hear about an ordinary person who does some extraordinary things. They are highlighted on the evening news or written up in the magazines because of this great thing that they accomplished. Like I told you about the ladies. Yesterday was Women's Day and the ladies were shown and uh, they said something that excited me because I know the wig here and the women of excellency and uh, whatever that you are going places. May God help you as you seek also to to do some extraordinary thing, like Alisa said. It isn't that the people changed and became someone different. They just did amazing things that caused folks to take notice. Amen? Extraordinary thing. Acts that cannot be ignored. This morning, I want us to consider another group of people who did some great things and what God had to say about them. So that passage that we have read, if I give you just a little background, in this Daniel's prophecy in chapter 11 speaks of the rule of the Gentiles that were ruling Israel. Which, and this rule was to continue. So it was going on. These events came to pass as Daniel had foretold them. In verse 30, we have in view of a king that was called Antiochus, Epiphanes, who was a wicked ruler, who was a type of Antichrist, which will come. He had returned from an attack against Egypt, which was thwarted by the Roman armies. In his anger, he took out his frustrations against the nation of Israel. He tried to compel the Jews to forsake the worship of God and replace it with the worship of the Greek god, Zeus. Some people are persuaded but there was a believing remnant, remnant of God's people who refused. And as a result, they were martyred, they were killed. And I want to draw your attention to the last phrase in verse number 32, which says, but the people that know their God shall be strong and they shall do exploit. Bless the name of the Lord. I would like to use the phrase as a challenge to each one of us. A challenge to be, for us to become outstanding believers. To rise above the circumstances and to do exploits. Bless the name of King Jesus. The people that know their God will do exploits. They are going to do things that are not normal. Extraordinary things. We want to start by talking about and considering their relationship. It is the people that know. The people that know. Tell your neighbor the people that know. Do you know believing is the first stage? Everybody believes. In actual fact, people believe so much, even the Bible says even the devil believes and trembles. But the people that know have some fear of the Lord. They have some reverence of the Lord because we know him. We know who God is. We know what God can do. We know what God is able to do. So the people, their relationship, it is the people that know God. What does that mean to know God? It means more than just to know about him. 
It means more than just knowing about God. Many people actually know about God. That knowledge does nothing for them. There are people who know God exists. There are people who know God can supply. There are people who know that God is the beginning. When we know him, we, our life is like he's holding in his palm. Because he's the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the last. People know it. If you want to know, people know, walk through the bars at around past 11. All songs changes. They start singing song, Christian gospel songs because they know there is a God. But what they are doing and what they, they, they know about is contradicting itself. It has not helped. These people knew God. These people knew God. Note, they knew their God. Here was the difference. They knew their God. It takes time to get to know someone. You know, when you talk to people, like when we started church here, I had some wonderful elders and one of them is still here, Karugano, uh, and I still salute you. This man, Karugano, this is one of the pioneer elders of this church. And uh, he served for two years, then he told me, let me be in the choir. He preferred the choir than the struggles that we had. Thank you, Collins. But I, I want to remind Collins and Alice, because they were leaders then, this. In our leadership, we could not partake of the Holy Communion for three years. Because every time I would tell them, I want to give Holy Communion to the members, one of them would say, Totiwaine, we don't know each other and we cannot partake of the Holy Communion when we don't know each other. You know, until I got to a place, I said, then we will never know each other. If this is the third year and we haven't known each other, I started giving Holy Communion. And I have never stopped. You that have joined in, we are still enjoying Holy Communion. Because you know, communion is we communing with God and interacting with one another. And if you can stay with a person and not know them, you know, for sure, even we that got married, we that are married, when we were getting married, we told everybody we knew our spouses, but we discovered what we knew was because they made sure the best food was always up front. They never got annoyed. They were always smiling because they were taking coffee from us. <laughs> Thank you, Alice. She never got annoyed. So to me, she was, uh, you know, I... And she would visit me occasionally, you know. And an old lady that used to be my neighbor would say, You know, whatever it is. Anyway, the point is, all that I did not know until I got married to Alice. Then I discovered she does not behave that way in the morning when she wakes up. No, 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 no. I'm just saying it. We wake up and sometimes we wake up on the wrong side of the bed, though you thought that side was the right one. But that's what they say in English. You can wake up on the wrong side of the bed. But there you are. Knowing a person takes time. Even knowing our God will take time. Because knowing a person is the fellowshipping with the person. People spending time with their spouses. People spending time with those that they love. People taking time to get to know uh, the people they love. The second thing that I want you to consider is that consider their character. They were strong. They knew their God and they were strong. We are talking about their character here. History records for us that they were not strong in military might. They certainly were not strong in numbers. But God's word says they were strong. Bless the name of the Lord. But strength can only come from preparation. Yesterday in the afternoon, I got a little bit, bit, bit tired and I, I thought I would relax. You know, I was told by someone, one of the ways of relaxing is watching a movie. I don't know whether it makes sense. So, and so I... <laughs> Bless the Lord for this church. There is a channel, Go TV channel. Aina mambo mingi kona tu kona tu tu move to tatu. Kamoja ni kakufu. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyway, people of my generation, we liked, we we loved kumfu a lot. Two things we loved: tissue, tissue, and what? 
and that one. We loved those ones a lot. So, and, um, so I was watching one. Uh, it was uh, a Kung Fu one. And, and uh, the guy, they were talking about a, a coward fighter. You know a coward fighter? Someone who is coward. So, anahepa lakini ahepe kwa sababu alikuwa mepanga. Lakini ni pale tu anahepa inagonga huyu hawa anagongana. Alafu anainuka tena, wanamuangalia tena, wakigongana tena, <laughs> anahepa. Anyway, in those struggles, kukakuja jamaa moja akamwambia sasa tutapigana na wewe. Na akafanya mkono hivi. Hapa, kukajichora something. <laughs> kwa ni yangu iko hapi? <laughs> But for you to have that, what you need is some prepa preparation. You have to be a lifter. You have to do certain things. Me, I don't lift, so I don't bake those muscles, you know. If I would, maybe this chest would be big, you know, protruding out like uh, uh, those guys. But preparation, it takes preparation. Mothers tell their children to drink their milk so they grow up to be strong, isn't it? There is another cartoon that is called Popeye. He is supposed to eat spinach so that he can become. It takes preparation to grow strong. If you want to be strong in the Lord, it will take preparation. Consider an athlete who trains, to trains with ways and so on. And I was so amazed when the first lady of this country said, yesterday but one, she ran 20 kilometers. And she was so thrilled. But she also qualified and said, we are not running. So what am I doing is jogging. You know, there's a difference. Jogging. It's not running. But she was still saying, because she has, she's going to do 21, she needs more practice. Now, hakuwa na uhuru, mahali uhuru, alikuwa na wamama. She was still in Sagana, working on her muscles. Because if you try 21 kilometers, if you have never done before, Wewe, labda utamaliza na ambulance ikuweke ju, wende ukawekwe oxygen. Nangala waone kama unaweza pumua kitu. So you need preparation. You need preparation for all that. He works, an athlete will work on their muscles, will work on everything that is within them, so that they can become what they, what they want to become. So what was the resistance that these people faced? The enemy of God was trying to force them to change what they believed. And they resisted it. They were strong. They resisted it. Their strength of character came from their relationship to God. Paul said you could do all things through Christ. Why? Because Christ gave him the strength. May we accept the challenge to be people who know our God and have the strength to resist the attacks of the enemy. Consider also exploits, their action. What are exploits? Webster has given so many things, and I, I think I have shared a few of them. But it is notable or heroic act, something that cannot be hid. It is notable. It can be noticed. Big things, unusual things, the kind of things that were not expected of these people, those are the exploits that they were talking about. God's people are known for exploits. And I pray that God is going to help us to move from where we are to become men and women of great exploits. God's people are known for exploits. The Bible has so many examples. Josh, uh, Joseph overcame imaginable trials and personal obstacles to become a great leader and bring about the salvation of the nation of Israel. Moses, at 80 years old, accepted the call of God to lead his people out of bondage. Joshua, when Moses dies, he is told by God, arise, you're going to take these people to the promised land. Nehemiah, and so on and so forth. There are two that I want to deal with a little later. David and Peter and John. David in 1 Samuel 17 and 1 Peter and Peter and John in Acts 3 verse 1 to 4. Great people of God in history, those who came even to our country. Because the country was good. They came in here looking for places to come and worship. People from Europe who came and started missionary work here. Even people like Carogano and others that came to this church. And worked hard. So that we can come here 
and be here. Because without them laying the foundation, we wouldn't be here. But they laid the foundation and they struggled then. So what does it take to do exploit? To do exploit, it will begin with a vision and that vision will be accomplished by a commitment. Bless the name of King Jesus. Doing some notable acts that cannot be hid. In the book of 1 Samuel, chapter number 17, it is the story of... Anybody who can tell me? The whole of the chapter, 1 Samuel chapter 17, is the story of David and who? And Goliath. Let me go back to Daniel chapter number 1. Daniel chapter number 1. Moses, are you ready to help me read today? Are you in a place you can read? Get a mic and read for us. The story here is that uh, the, the, the Jehoiakim, the king of Judah, has been brought to the Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and it has been besieged. And the Lord gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hand with the part of the vessels of the house. And the king spoke unto Ashpenaz, the master of his eunuchs, to bring some choice people. And I want uh, Moses to start from verse number four. Daniel chapter 1, verse number 4. Young men in whom there was no blemish. Young men that were not having any blame. But good looking. Good looking. Gifted in all wisdom. Gifted in all wisdom. Possessing knowledge. Possessing knowledge. And quick to understand. And quick to understand. Who had ability to serve in the king's palace. People that have understanding of science and they were ready to stand before the king's palace. And whom they might teach the language and literature of the Chaldeans. And these people were to be taught the literature of that place. And I want to say this. God has bestowed upon you and upon me all that we have talked about. God has given us his favor. We are favored and flavored like somebody says in the house. And God has released to us wisdom and understanding. We know the time. We understand all this. Now... Now, then you know because the king understands this, the devil knows this, there are certain things that he wants to do so that he can confuse you and confuse me. Verse number five. Verse number five. And the king. Verse number five of Daniel chapter one. And the king. And the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat. Right. And of the wine which he drank. Right. So nourishing them three years that at the end of thereof they might stand before the king. Now I want you, I want you to understand here. These are choice people. They are from the kingly uh, they are princes if you like. And the king looks at them and he wants and he, he did not only pick those four he picked many. It is like he was preparing like when Kenya got independence Thank God for those that were between 20 years and above. They were picked by the government. And if they are gone to form four, they were taken out, became DOs, they came back as PSs and so on, and they became as big people. Because Kenya was preparing, you know. Even Akina people like Mulingi and others went to be trained to become generals, you know. There was a lot of opportunities. And the king looks and he says, he is preparing himself for people to rule with him. So he brings choice people, blameless people, People that had no gale in themselves. People that had knowledge. People that had wisdom. And all these are people that had the priesthood in them. These are people that were princes from their country. And because Nebuchadnezzar was the king over a, law, a large area, he was able to pick people from Africa, from Europe, and from Asia. People that had kingly uh, uh, blood flowing in them. And he picked these four. And then he, takes, he prepares a meal for them. 
And you know, one of the things that is dangerous for you and for me, if we are going to be exploited, is to watch at the table that is set before us. Because not all tables have good things for us. Amen. Uh, continue, my brother. Now, no. among these were of the children were among these were of the children of Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. These were the names of the people from Judah, Madinayao. Those were the names. But you see, they have to be baptized. And I'm saying to you and to me, God will have to help us to resist. I told you earlier, people that do exploit, they don't change, they don't become taller. They can only become fatter if they eat more, but they don't get taller, they don't get browner, they are, remain the way they are. No wonder some of you will have a real problem when somebody walks and you are still imagining they are the same people that you used to know when God has actually changed them. So they had names, but what does he do? The chief official gave them new names. To Daniel, the name Belshazzar. To Hananiah, the name Shadrach. To Mishael, the name Meshach. And to Azariah, the name Abednego. I want you to know, if the devil wants to win you, the first thing he's going to do is to give you a name. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, I refuse names. I will remain myself. I will remain myself. Praise the name of the Lord. In because the you see, the names comes with the pagan idol worship. The names meant something else. The names were not going to help them. They were going to corrupt them. The names were to corrupt them. Then, But Daniel resolved not to defile himself with the royal Tell food. your neighbor, neighbor, this will take you because you know God to make a resolve. Do you know when, when you are challenged to do something? One of one once we were sharing with someone and they gave us this testimony that people want they give you you give a quote, but they want you to bribe to get it. To bribe to get it, and then you wonder. Then you wonder. I mean, why should I? You know, the other day I was so amazed. I saw I was so amazed. We are borrowing some some money. We we have okay, let me now that I've said it, let me say it. The local church council know it. We, we have a lot of loans. So say so deni, tunataka kuzitoa kwa 19%. Tuzilete pari tunaweza lipa 12%. Siyo ni wisdom. Siyo ni wisdom. Tunagari mpia hapa KDU, tunanyumba hii, na hitu Annex, na, na, na kathari kapare nyuma. Now, so I went somewhere to borrow. The value I went to value one of our land. Kwa sababu zaatu mekua matajiri tuko na maploti katha. One of our land. Akasema anataka 180. Siju 187 for valuation. Nika muambia siripi. Na yule ya likuambia uka value. Wende uka muitiche pesa. Kwa nini ukuja kuniambia. Ni kuambia vitu. You know we were in my office. <laughs> We struggled with that guy from 187 to 80. Because I was telling him, it doesn't make any sense. When I'm running away from 19 and you still want my 19 at the end of the day to give to you. I mean, then what have I done? Na mwingine nae ya naitua wakiri, nae ya nataka zijui, nae ya nataka 200 and something. Nae ni kamambia itita kupa. That's why I told you I'm a difficult person actually. I <laughs> Sometimes I look difficult. But anyway, the point is I will, I will not allow. I will not allow my name to change. I want to stand for God. I want to honor him. I'm not going to give to gate. I'm going to wait for God to supply because God is the one who supplies all my needs according to his riches and glory. Daniel purposed. If you're going to do exploit, can I tell you something? You have to purpose in your heart. You have to purpose in your heart. And I say it is so sad that I speak to people actually who have no purpose. You can be moved here and moved there. You have to have a purpose. This is what I want to do and nobody can move me. This is the direction I'm going and nobody can turn me. I'm going to pray at 4 o'clock and nothing can stop me. I'm going to sleep at 10 and nothing can shake me. I'm going to study and nothing can move me. You have to be having a resolve in you. 
You have to have a resolve in you. He said, no, I'm not going to defile myself with the king's meat. He said he's not going to eat the king's meat. He says he's not going to enjoy it. He's not going to do it. And he said, you give us mavoga. Give us something else. And try us after some time. See what is going to happen. And the Bible records. Because he said, prove, prove us, prove us. I beseech, he, he, he asked them. Now, let's look at verse number 15. Verse number 15. At the end of the ten days, they looked healthier and better nourished than any of the young men who ate the royal food. Because of having a resolve, after ten days, they looked better. Can't you believe God? Can't you know him to a point that you believe him so much that after ten days, your life can be different? Can't you believe God that you start walking in a different style? Can't you believe God that you start behaving like you own it? I like the song we sang. He has given me million in my pocket. And I saw Maina do this. And I thought, wow, million in your pocket. Can it fit in your pocket? Yes, it can. Why? I'll make it deeper. Sini kuifanya mzito tukidogo. Niweke 500 pandi na 500 pandi. Alafu nifkunike koti yangu vizuna nianza. Sita kuwa na wasuwasi kuangalia kila mutu ni kama nimebeba kitu. He has given me. And you know what? Yes, he has. He has given me. And I, you know me, I like people who encourage each other. Unajua kuna watu hapa. Wanakupea mori. Wanakupa u. They encourage you. They cheer you. Bless the name of the Lord. That it is going to be possible. That God is going to release it. They were, they were better. They were better. They were, after 10 days, they looked different. If you have a resolve, God is going to make you better. God is going to make your countenance better. God is going to give you a lot of wisdom. Because that's what happened to these ch uh, children of Israel. Then what happens? Let's go up to verse number. Now at the end of those days. Let's go to verse 19 up to the end. The king talked with them and he found none equal to Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Hallelujah. Did you hear that? The king looked at them and man, there was, they were not comparable with anybody else. And I want to speak to someone here because people compare you with everything. They compare you with a drunk chief. They compare you with a halot. They compare you with a loser. But I know what? If you're going to have a resolve, you're going to be different. They were different. They could not be compared. Oh, may the Lord bring a difference between you and them. May the Lord bring a change between you and them. In the name of Jesus. Continue, my brother. In every matter of wisdom and understanding. In every matter of wisdom and understanding. May the Lord release that to you. May you become better than your competitors. In your business may you have wisdom and creation and revelation. About which the king questioned them. He found them ten times better than all the magicians and the enchanters. Oh man, hold it, hold kingdom. it, hold it there, hold it. I like that. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. May the Lord make you ten times better than the witches and the astrologers in your village in the name of Jesus. May the Lord release upon you wisdom, understanding that the witches of your village cannot stand you in the name of the Lord. May you become ten times better than the best businessmen in your village. May the Lord make you ten times better as a pastor than the next pastor in your village. May the Lord make you ten times better as a farmer than the farmer next to you in the name of the Lord. May the Lord make you ten times better. Amen. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, you're my witness. I'm going to be ten times better. Maybe I'm two times better, but I'm going to be ten times better in the name of Jesus. Tell your neighbor, look at me. Ten times better. This is the season of great things that God is going to do. This is the near that man, if you're going to tap with what God is going to do, your life and my life will not be the same. Me, I can sense it. Me, I can feel it. Me, I know it already. That my life will never, ever be the same again. Let's go back to David. David was anointed king. After he was anointed king, where did he go? Did he go to the palace? Where did he go? He went back Kuchunga Kondo. Now tell your neighbor, anointing is not enough. 
Because you could have an anointing, but you are still doing that job that you were doing. So what happened? What changed? And let me tell you what happened. David was not going to war. He was a lad. David hakuwa kienda vita. Alipewa githeri ya perekea ndugu zake. Perekea ndugu zake wa meenda vita. Hata, by the way, na vita ilika sana baba, baba yake akashanga. Because that was the 40th day. 40th day. Hii vita, hatusikiege watu wa mewawa, hatusikiege watu wa mepigwa, hatusikiege nani ya meshinda, na kuna vita. Baba yake akasema, tafadhali enda uniangaliria watoto wangu ujue wako na gani. So David is carrying githeri o onyoyo or ugali, or whatever you eat. You know, you, we, we eat, buwana. Kama ni mtoka kutoka ingo, buwana labda kulikuwa na he, basi na he, yote imechanganywa pamoja hakaperekewa wa waende wakasosi. And you know the Bible is so clear, na kulikuwa na kidogo ya kupatia sauli. Yani wezi beba tu hivi, hata hii upatia sauli, na hii upatia ndugu zako. Yani hii kuku hapa, hii mondo unaperekea sauli, ndugu zako na wapatia hiyo kaigagio na hiyo kitu igine, ya upande, pande, na kathalika. You know, David, and you know what David is carrying? Because he was not going to war, he is carrying a sling. Where? Where ukiwa mtoto kidogo? Numa kora kwa nanya mwe? Fea. Oh, kumbe mulikuwa na fea. Yani David ambebeba fea. Fea siya kuenda vitani. Fea ilikuwa ya kuuwa ndege. Mwambi jirani yako, David ya kuwa kienda vitani. David ya libeba fea. Kwa sababu... Fea ilikuwa ya kazi hii. Wakati kondo wamekula na wametulia. Ili ya silale. Ya yeah, naanza kupiga ndege. Ya yeah, keep busy na tundege. Na napiga tundege na napiga tundege. Kwa hivyo akiondoka nyumbani ya libeba fea. Hata hakubeba mawe. Fea tu. Alafu wakaenda kuwapelekea chakula. And you know lo and behold. Alipo wapelekea chakula. It so happens. Alifika wakati ule kile kimjamaki na hitu wa Goliath. Dio wakati kilikuwa kikisimama. Give me a man. Give me a man. You servants of soul, give me a man. If I kill him, you will become our servants. Give me a man. Sauli akaangalia na watu wake wakaingia kwa hema. So that David ya mewatu wa meshanga. We, we, brother, what is going on? Ndugu yake anamambia, we, rudi ukachunge uko. The people that will cause you actually not to walk to your destiny are the people that know you. Because they don't know whether your English can go to Europe. They don't believe that you can go to America. Where will you watch a condo? Watch a kuja uri cha. Where would you? You know, that kaita mungine. Where? You know, jama. And me sama nini? Nini nini naendelea? Oh, haka wacha uyo. Where, where? Uri hata uwa kire ki jama. Hata pewa nini? Hata pewa nini? Ha. Waka sama. Saulu hapa kuna kajama kanataa kuwa uwa. Kakuje, kakuje, kuja, kuja, kuja. Unataku, ee, nataku na vita, akavalishu wanguo. Akajaribu kutoka, ikashindikana. Kwa sababu ye ni kijana, akazama ye, vezekani. Mimi, najuwaga ingine. Mimi, mimi ukineona hivi, kuna ziku moja, nikiwa kule tu. Mimi nachunga, 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 kasimba kakakuja, kakauma. Nika kanyanganya. Harafi nikaona kananyeta. Nika kachika mdomo, nika kapanua, nika kawa. Kasimba. Harafi ziku ingine kukakuja dubu. Na hii kakuja ikachika kakondo. Nika inyanganya. Lakini ikanyeta, nika iuwa. Kwa hivyo mimi nimeuwa simba na nimeuwa dubu. Yani anabjaribu kumambia soul, the arms of flesh will fail you, you dare not trust them. But I trust God. Oh, in whose army that man has defiled. You know, David was not going to fight as his battle. No, he was going to fight a battle for the Lord because there was nobody to fight for the Lord and the battle then turns from for the Lord and becomes the Lord's battle. David tells the guy, Mio, you, you are coming to me, but I'm coming to you too. Now listen, listen, this is amazing. Go ahead, Elipona, Kakitana, Kametoka, Aliangalia, Kaona. Where? Mimi ni kaumbwa. Muna niletea kamuti na kakijana. Eh? Wewe kijana. Saa hii ndega watakukura wewe. Na he Daudi ya kamuambia. Oh, mimi. Humesahau. Address hiyo nilihama. Mimi nakuja saa hii. By the way, nitakata kichwa yako mimi. Na nikisha ikata hiyo mwiri yote yako nitapatia ndege. 
Now let me back up a little. David, Sauli aliona jitu, sio? Mtu ambaye anajua vita mrefu akaogopa wakako. Lakini Daudi alipoona Goliath alisema namna gani? Alisema mimi napigaga ndege wako namna hii. Tu ndege tudogo tunyoni tuwaja tudogo hivi. Tududura tudogo hivi. Na ninatulengaga na pa ninakaua. Sasa hiki kitu kikubwa jameni. Hata nikifunga macho moja nitakigonga kitaanguka kiki kijamaa hiki wewe nakuja saa hii yani daud hata hakuwa na mawe aliokota akienda kwa sababu alikuwa na tumaini yake mungu hebu niseme hivi daud alipokuwa anointed alienda kuchunga lakini alipomuua goliatho waliimba nyimbo zake nataka kusema hapa kuna watu nyimbo zako kuna watu wataziimba kuna watu wameanza kuzitunga kuna watu watabadilisha neno walilokuwa wakisema juu yako kwa nini kwa sababu goliatho walipoanguka wa mama wakainuka wakasema wewe hujui sauli ameua elfu yake daudi ameua maelfu zake kumi. yani wimbo ukachacha hapo ndipo sauli aliuliza na huyu mtoto ni wa nani hebu watu waulize wewe ni nani lakini lazima utende tendo moja tendo moja ambalo haliwezi fichika hawangi aficha goli aliyekuwa wapi chini na alikata kichwa may the lord give you the grace to do so in this year of great exploit that god will cause you to do something they will ask na huyu huyu ni nani Unajua wamekudharau wame miaka mingi upenda. Watauliza na huyu. Ni nani? Ni wanani? Huyu Mungu wake ni nani? Huyu, huyu naye ametokezea wapi? Kwa sababu Daudi hakujulikana na alikuwa amefanywa nini? Amepakwa mafuta. May the Lord bring that kind of revival into you. To do something that will cause people to ask. Huyu? Ni nani? huyu ni nani na si kwa sababu ya siasa unajua siasa za Kenya zimekuwa zikichanganywa changanywa mara kuna wakati nilikuwa nikisema kemani wa Mungai tena nasema naivasha watu wananiondokea njia si kujua kumbe ni kwa sababu ya PPO aliitwa Mungai alikuwa pale nakuru aliharas moi akaharas everybody kwa hivyo nikisema kemani Mungai hata waniulize hiyo ingine kwanza nikisema naivasha Lakini ni kudogo jamaa alikuwa mtundu alikimbizwa na moyo moyo alipopata power mongai alitorokea lokichogio <laughs> alienda miguu alijua sasa kimeumana si hivi sisemi hivyo nasema wewe ni nani kulingana na Mungu unayemjua haleluya hebu niseme hivi lazima ili waweze kukutambua na hapa ndiyo naona kuna watu hapa tutakosana hapa ni lazima useme goliatho wako ainuke. Wengine hapa mnaogopa sana. You are so scared but people will not ask who you are until you do an act that cannot be covered and which cannot be ignored. Which means hebu inua kidole. Na useme kama mtu amenoki. Goliatho wangu Goliath wangu inuka inuka Goliath wangu Goliath wangu inuka inuka nikuue nikuue inuka inuka Goliath akiinuka utafanya nini? Mkate kichwa. Kazi ya Goliath ni kufanya nini? Katwa kichwa. Kazi ya Goliath ni kufanya nini? Aim. Goliath wangu Goliath wangu inuka inuka kama ni familia amekuja Goliath mwambia inuke inuka nitakuua saa hii nitakuua saa hii kwa biashara Goliath wangu kwa biashara Goliath wangu inuka inuka nikuue saa hii nikuue saa hii Goliath wangu Goliath wangu inuka inuka nikuue saa hii nikuue saa hii na akiinuka usitoroke kama Sauli kwa sababu it is the act na mimi nimesema kama pasta Goliath wangu ni milioni mbili na nimemwambia inuka na nimeona na ni lazima nikate kichwa. Na mmenisaidia sana kuniunga mkono kwa sababu goliatho wangu ni kathidru na nitakata hapo. With you? Oh let me finish. Hebu nimalize kwa sababu leo, leo inaonekana ibada ime, imekuwa tamu sana. Mnajua kuna jamaa anaitwa Petro na Yohana katika kitabu cha matendo ya mitume. Biblia inasema siku moja wakienda hekaruni Ndiyo walikuwa wakienda hekaruni. Walikuwa wakienda hekaruni kufanya nini? Kuomba. 
wakienda wakakuta kuna jamaa pale na huyo jamaa kuna uwezekano wacha ni wacha, wacha ni seme kuna uwezekano mwingi 100% probability Yesu alimwacha pale Nafikiria Yesu alipokuwa akimpita alikuwa akisema huyu huyu nafikiria ni wa Petro na Johana mm, huyu wacha ni wachie hao jamaa wata deal na yeye. Yeye anaingia kwa tempo, anamaliza service, anaenda. Akipita pale anasema na huyu ni wa Petro na Johana. Nafikiria kuna mtu amewachwa mahali pale kwa sababu huyo ni wako. Hebu niseme hivi. Roho aliposhuka wakati wa Pentecote na Petro wamehubiri watu elfu tatu wameokoka. Hakuna mtu alikuwa na shida na watu kuokoka. Ha, hakukuwa na shida. Hata Sanhedrin kanzo haikukaa chini kuwazungumzia kwa sababu kuokoka waliimba kwetu zamani kule kwa Wakulino wakasema watu waachiliwe waokoke wabatizwe na aende kanisani kwa sababu kuna watu wame wamesema wanaokoka wanaimba nyimbo wameingia makanisani hata wamebatizwa lakini kutubu because you know repentance is the key when you turn around and say the things i used to do i'm not going to do them again repentance the turning around is where the devil hits sasa petro alipo obea watu na watu 1300 wameokoka haku hakukuwa na shida lakini siku hiyo alipokuwa akienda hekaluni hata ndani yake akasikia kwa moyo huyu jamaa amewachwa hapa niliwachiwa na kristo huyu ni wangu yani huyu uli huyu ni wangu akamwambia we nitazame vizuri fedha na dhahabu sina ile nimebeba ni sadaka ya kutoa leo tu na taithi ya kanisani lakini katika jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazarethi inuka jamaa akainuka mara moja akaingia hekaluni akamsifu Mungu wakaitana kanso hapo hapo wakauliza na hawa jamaa na hawakusoma ni akina nani who are they and I want to say to you, you can be filled with the Holy Ghost, you can be born again, but unless you have an act that will not be covered, which cannot be ignored, then your neighbors will know. May the Lord release that to you. May the Lord cause you to build a house that has never been built in your village. Amen. May the Lord cause you to drive a car that even your neighbors don't have it. Yes. May the Lord release education to your family that the neighbors don't. May the Lord cause you to be favored of the Lord. May the Lord release it upon you in the name of Jesus. This is the year of exploit. Goliath, Goliath, Iwango. Goliath, Goliath. Inuka. Inuka. Hilo tendo la miujiza. Hilo tendo la miujiza. Ambalo Bwana ameniwachia. Bwana ameniwachia. mimi. Nilitende mimi. Sita liogopa. Sita liogopa. I'm speaking to some people here you have been so scared of that thing. I don't know what is that thing. You are so scared and so afraid. Every time you want even to call your neighbors. Neighbors kuja ni muone hata tena amefanya ile kitu tena hapa. Kuja neba munisaidie hapana inuka. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth rise and do something for the Lord. They this is the year of great exploit. May the Lord help us. So what is your vision? Do you have a vision for what God can do through you? Is there anything that you believe God can do for this church? As a Sunday school teacher or a worker, what is, where, where are you? And we are going to accomplish all this by our commitment. The people who know their God, that is their relationship. They will be strong, that is their character. They will do exploit. There will be things that are notable, things that cannot be ignored in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for the great word that you have spoken to me. Thank you for the release that you have released it to your people. And I pray that Heavenly Father in this year, yes, we have received an anointing. We have received the Holy Spirit upon us, but we are still taking care of the sheep. Lord God, we pray that a Goliath will rise. Because killing the lion and the bear has no significance. But Father, we know a notable act. One notable act. One notable act. Father, I pray for this church and the members that are listening to me. That each one of them, dear Father, will do a notable act. That will be noticed. That cannot be ignored in the name of Jesus. And I also pray that the people listening to me will be ten times better than the witches around their village, the astrologers, the wise people, the wealthy people. They will be ten times better in the name of Jesus. We have planted a seed. 
The heavens is open. We are walking on the 10 times better avenue in the name of Jesus. To the Lord our God, we want to declare that it shall be done to your people. It shall be done to your people. So shall it be. And so shall it be done. I want you to stand for a minute. Lift up your hands. You know yourself. I don't know which area you are telling God, God, I want to be 10 times better. I want you to open up your mouth. You remember we said, ask anything, be extravagant, ask for the moon. I want you to open up your mouth. Just open your mouth and tell the Lord the area you want to be 10 times better. Where do you want to be 10 times better? Which area are you looking for to give you 10 times better? Where? What part of, uh, of, of, of what you do? What are the things that you're telling God, I want to be 10 times better in this area? I want to be 10 times better. In this area. Father, in the name of Jesus. As we come before you as individuals. Oh God, I pray. That your father, even in my finances. Oh God, in my investment, oh God. Even in the work that God has called me. I'm going to be ten times better. I pray that I'm going to sell through that anointing. Anointing of ten times better. In the name of Jesus. I pray that the Goliath will arise. That I will close the riches that you will hold. And that acts will not be ignored. Will not be covered. Will cause people to sing about you. People will talk Do it in the name of the Lord. And once we have done it, we will 